I feel it makes a very big difference because these children um, can't afford to pay, pay for private tuition. Um, they're so far behind the academic year because of the situation they've come from, from these war zone countries, that in their country they might not have been able to go to school. So if they are in primary school and secondary school, they might be a good few years behind um, the rest of the pupils in their class. And they feel really isolated and upset about the fact that they're not on the same level as the other pupils. So this is where we step in and we're able to offer them that one-to-one -one support and we're able to give them um, uh, tuition in maths and English to improve and upskill them. Uh, but also because of the situations they've come from, we also do a lot of um, uh, work around mental health and well-being because they're extremely traumatised. Um, they've seen a lot um, and uh, like they've been neglected, they've been exploited, they've come from homelessness. So it's a, a place where they can come and have fun. It's very varied and it's also um, a place where they can intermingle with each other and make friends because they've come new so they don't really know anyone in the area. They don't really have no friends. So it's, it's a nice place for them to come meet other people, make friends and just improve um, not only their education but also improve on their health and well-being as well. A lot of the parents have spoken to us, uh, to us uh, themselves and said our kids um, don't really enjoy going to school. Um, some kids might feel that they're being bullied by others because they can't really communicate with the other children because of lack of uh, English. Um, also when homework is go given the kids can't really do the homework because it might be quite uh, academically higher than what they actually are at what level they are sometimes kids are ashamed and embarrassed to say to the teacher I'm really sorry but you're giving me level 7 work but I'm actually I can't even do this I don't understand it so once you build that relationship with the family and the child, they'll say, look, we're really struggling in school. A teacher gives us homework, but we don't know what to do. And we don't want to go to school because we feel so embarrassed. And um, we don't know how to tell the teacher that we need help. So it's about being comfortable enough to ask for that help. So once we have that relationship with these families the families feel so comfortable they will ring us and say right our kids are struggling with english we also don't have enough food this week we're financially really struggling we can't keep up with our bills what do we do um so again when you build that trust with the families it's all based on trust and it's how it's how you respect love and care for these families as well make them feel welcomed give give them give them the same respect as you would give anyone else. It doesn't matter which country they're from, which ethnicity they're from, what background they're from, what language they speak, none of that matters. They're all one to us and we treat them all equally and fairly.